As part of Pest Buster giving back to society, they'll visit homes such as these to offer free pest control services. So let's see, and one of the things which they do at the house is uh, to check for bed bugs, right, Amir? Yes. Okay, so go through the motions with us. How do you check for bed bugs? Uh, for bed bugs inspection, when we do come in, we will check every single piece of furniture, especially where they rest. So, I mean, it's a misconception that bed bugs only uh, hide and harbor within the beds. They actually do on the mattress, within the gaps uh, of the bed frame, behind uh, cabinets like this. Uh, inside electrical plastic conduits. Right. Yeah, so we'll, we'll do a thorough inspection to determine uh, the level of infestation. Okay, let's take a look then. So, upon our inspections earlier on, we found bed bugs crawling within the bed slats. Yes. Here and the side. And, and as you can see from the signs here, you see a lot of dead and dried bed bugs, or rather, they go through their molting stages. So you see all their discard skins. Oh, so this is like the, the dead cells of bed bugs. Mm-hmm. Are they are, are bed bugs attracted to any particular type of uh, surface or environment? No, not really. As long as it provides a dark hiding place, they will harbor within the those areas. Okay. So what happens when you encounter these bed bugs? I mean, what 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 steps do you all take? Okay. Uh, we have a control measure whereby we will do a spraying of all the affected areas, and we will also concentrate uh, in the gaps and behind cabinets and stuff like that, yeah. So on average, right, how many cases do you have bed bugs? On average, right now, we've seen an increase in the number of bed bug cases. We're looking at probably three to four cases a day. Yeah, so on a, on a month, you're looking at times three, yeah. Wow, okay. And it's not just, okay, there's a... Let's say if my home is clean, does it necessarily mean that it's bed bug free? Um, not necessarily, because there's this misconception that bed bugs is due to sanitation. That's not always the case. Um, nowadays, because like I said, with the advent of uh, cheaper travel, uh, bed bugs are transported in. So we've had cases in five star hotels, we've had cases in uh, big mansions and things like that. So it's spread quite evenly across the board. Uh, if you can see this little white thingies here, yeah? the white oblong, all, the, uh, all this, yeah, these are eight cases. Right. Okay, so the reason why we come back within the 14 day period is we want to ensure that uh, the eight cases that uh, may have been treated with a chemical because it does not penetrate through the eight cases, we let them hatch first, then we actually come back and do a second treatment. I could almost feel the bed bugs crawling all over me, but the problem didn't just stop at the bed. You can see the fecal matter, we can spot it along the uh, cornices and the conduits here. So this is a sign of overpopulation of bed bugs. They are actually what? harboring within these electrical plastic conduits behind there. Right. Amir and his partner Raman work through the day to exterminate the bed bugs and other pests. Yes, you can see it's a mammoth operation to rid your bed frame or your house of bed bugs. So. Be careful, huh? whenever you travel back from your other countries, make sure that you check your luggage, make sure there's no bed bugs inside. In the next clip, Razor TV shows you how to keep your home pest-free.